Kowalski, a film critic for the Washington City Paper. Today we're talking to John and Kim about the DC Shorts Film Festival. We are one of the fastest growing film festivals in the nation right wow. now, and uh, we just keep growing. Yeah, it's right. amazing. So you will this down to, what, 94? 94 films, right. We have this amazing online system we had built for us that uh, not only parses the scores and figures all that stuff out, it also allows filmmakers, after we judge them, to log in and read their scores and their comments. So it's one of the very few festivals that has a completely open judging process, so filmmakers get a lot of feedback. Which, let me just emphasize, I don't know of any other film festival anywhere that's doing that, and we actually heard back from a lot of filmmakers afterwards, including filmmakers whose films were not selected, saying that it was valuable to enter their film in just to get those comments. Right. Most film festivals, your film gets taken or doesn't take, and you have no idea why. Right. So, but uh, after we had the computer spat the final report, we had this big meeting. I think all forty of us were in a room together, and we sat there and went film by film, deciding, is this one in, is this one not, is, is this one short enough that we can fit in, is this one too long, but it, it still works, we should fit it in, then kind of massage them into the actual screenings they're going to be in, and then try to figure out the how the screenings are going to go. Do we put a depressing one next to another depressing one? We put, you know, so the, the flow is really difficult. That's where the, kind of the art comes in of, of it. So it was important to have lots of judges there who had seen as many of the films as possible so we could figure that out. There are 10 screenings this year, and there's an average of 10 films per screening. And they range in length from, we have a 30 second film <laughs> I love that one, by this the way. year. <laughs> and um, the longest is 30 minutes. And um, so we are trying to have a range not only of types of films, but lengths of films, uh, different tones. Uh, you know, every screening we want to give people a sense of what is that the full range of what artists are doing in the short film right. format. Yeah, we, we make a concerted effort to make sure every screening has at least one documentary, at least one animated piece, at least two or three local films. Uh, something with music, uh, so we try to get everything in there, so there, if you, it doesn't matter what screen you go to, you, you get a nice cross-section of what was available. I think that in the era of the YouTube phenomenon, that uh, festivals like this will become less popular over the years. I love watching YouTube, I can spend hours and hours watching YouTube, it's addictive. But there's a lot of stuff on there I, I would like to have seen on a big screen, and I think a lot of people feel that way. They, they, on YouTube, I, I consider that kind of like video fun. But it's not necessarily films. I, mean, I find I find that you find very few films on there, legitimate short films with plots, and mm -hmm. you know, or doc there's no documentaries on there now. Um, so a festival like this is kind of necessary for people to see that work. We have 150 filmmakers descending on the city on Thursday, yeah. this yeah. September 14th. They're coming from as far away as Singapore. Um, and we offer them uh, free housing, transportation, food vouchers, all kinds of hospitality, and so all of these details need to be coordinated. There's a lot to do. We'll be working up till the last minute. Mm -hmm.